Good morning guys and welcome back to World of Tanks, it's Jaeger262 and this is my second, well technically third, black market video. Now before I get this video started I just want to give a huge shout out and say thank you to all the people that watched last night's video and engaged in the comment section talking about the Death Star. A lot of you guys said you bought it and now I feel very jealous because it doesn't look like the Waffenträger E100 will make it. And so now I feel like I missed a huge opportunity, but thank you so much for still getting to the comments and sort of discussing the event with me and engaging. Really appreciate that. And thank you to everybody else who watched the video. It's not my most popular video on my channel. So I really appreciate all that support. And because of that, I decided I was going to make more black market videos. Now, going forward, I'm not going to do a video for each tank that they cover. It's just I won't be here to make a video tonight on the vehicles that they're selling so what I'm gonna do is just cover the morning vehicle today and then each day I'll probably put up a video at 8 p.m. discussing both vehicles that came out that day now the reason I wanted to cover this one not just because of how popular the black market video was but because of how interesting I thought the choice was in one they did this one in the morning because the past two days which I assume was a coincidence had been tier threes and then a tier 8, and then of course yesterday was a tier 10 in the evening. Which makes me think that maybe there's a larger vehicle coming, and not obviously larger by size, but just in maybe cost, tier, another tier 10 possibly. Who knows, it just seems odd that they start it with the Alpine Tiger. Another reason that makes the Alpine Tiger odd is that it's just like the T-59 Gold. Uh, obviously not as special, not as rare, but it's just a premium tank you could buy for a large amount of time, actually. It was on sale for a while, and I think you could still buy the WZ-111. This one just happens to have this really amazing looking 3D model. Now, the odd thing here is that one, not very popular, I mean it hasn't really sold much since I've been on, and the reason for that is because they're selling it for 10,000 gold. And that just seems like a really odd thing to me to have. And so, again, if anybody would like to engage with me in the comments, if somebody knows the answer to this, because I missed the first day, can you tell me if they sold the Type 59G for gold? If they didn't, this will be the first one in the black market list sold for gold, which makes me worried, one, that again, I missed some pretty good deals earlier in the event, and two, that this is kind of how they're going to profit off of this, because I wasn't really sure why they were doing this or what they were going to gain from doing this. I guess, I suppose people could have bought extra credits, but it looks like, no, they're still going to be selling certain vehicles for gold, and so that makes me worried. Because, one, the Alpine Tiger was on my list of tanks I wanted to see for sale. Obviously, I'm not going to spend 10,000 gold to get this one. I'd have to buy 9,000 gold. So, I could just buy any premium tank, especially one of the special ones, for about $50 US, which is what that 9,000 gold would cost, instead of buying this. Which is sad, because I didn't want to see this vehicle. And if you have the 10,000 gold, go ahead and buy it. It's really unique. It's a burnished metal color. So, no camouflage, but it looks good n on all maps. But I'm just worried that maybe going forward, more and more of these vehicles in the black market will be sold only for gold. Which, I can understand why Wargaming would do that. I'm not saying that it's wrong for them to do that. They need to make a profit somewhere. It's just that I feel like with the launch of Watt Premium, uh, with all the special D-Day sales and the Berlin sales that this event we wouldn't see as many gold vehicles so I don't know yet how that's going to play out hopefully there will only be a handful of these and the rest will still be for credits but I will cover those as I go on with the black market videos I will probably do a video either way later tonight after the event and cover the vehicle just to keep the pace going if not I will just chuck in the vehicle that they do later into tomorrow's video but that's pretty much it for today now 
while I was discussing with you guys, one of the viewers turned me on to a list that was leaked on Reddit, and he had the video I I haven't found yet, but he gave me the name in my comment section of yesterday's video, so I'll have to put that back up, and maybe I'll leave it in the description of this video. But I found, before he had told me that, I had looked, and I found another list on the South American servers Reddit, or World of Tanks Reddit, with what appeared to be the full list by date and they got the first two days right and then today they had slated the Panzer 4 slash 5 and the Panzer 2J which is that OP tier 3 monster I really hope I don't see either of those tanks although I do like the Panzer 4 5 but I don't want to see the Panzer 2J but I don't know if that will be the next vehicle today, or if the list was wrong, but the Alpine Tiger was slated to come out tomorrow on Monday, so maybe they got their dates mixed up, or maybe it is the full list of vehicles just out of order. So I will keep following that, I will go back and look at the video that you guys left in the comments for me, and see what that Reddit said, and hopefully the list will either match up or they'll be correct because I would really love to get a heads up. If not, I will always let you guys know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to get more notifications on the other black market videos I'm going to be doing, please subscribe to the channel. Your support is always appreciated. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.